Uh, all right. So my yep. son has a soccer camp, and they've actually pushed the start time back yeah. mm. because of this extreme heat, like until 6.15 at night. I mean, I think that's yeah. probably a better that's a good option. Time yeah, to get out there. Yeah, it's Compensate. so brutal to be out there in the middle of the day. And I think this might be our hottest week of the year, maybe. Mm. I mean, we still have a couple more yeah. weeks in August where, unfortunately, we could continue to see the really hot kind of weather. But I have near or at 100 degree temperatures all week long. And today we're getting very close in spots. And really over the past several days, we have gotten close. In fact, a few spots have brushed 100. But this is going to be a widespread. And the thing is also a very long kind of prolonged event through the next several days. We have a heat advisory until 7 and then we have another one of course issued for tomorrow likely every day this week. So we are continuing really hot without a whole lot of rain. We're expecting temperatures around 100 and that's just the air temperature. So our heat index more like about 112 and even into next weekend still dealing with intense heat. This is a hot time of year, of course, but just checking if you're curious what those all time records are. Remember at the end of August last year, we hit our two all time records at the Kenner Airport and at Slidell 105 on August 27th last year at the Kenner Airport and 108 at Slidell. And this one really blew the old record out of the water. The old record was 102 and we made it to 105 and Slidell's old record was 104. So the latter part of August last year, super hot. In fact, most of August last year, year and we're expecting at least another week of pretty intense heat. Talking about the tropics really quickly, of course, we are tracking Tropical Storm Debbie, and I have seen a few spots around Tampa and Sarasota that have logged 12 or even 16 plus inches of rain just over the past few days. And now we're seeing that threat continue for much of the southeastern coast of the U.S. from Georgia into the Carolinas. The steering is not as strong anymore for Debbie, and so that's why we're expecting it to so slowly meander out over the water, probably strengthen a little bit. You can see a little bit of strengthening here and then continue back inland with a lot of rain all along the coast. So the yellow bullseye here in parts of South Carolina and parts of Georgia, 15 to 20 or so inches of rain. So huge rain event there. For us though, while this low pressure is spinning over to our east, we sometimes see this with systems out to our east. We're getting north and northwest winds, which actually is bringing our humidity down a tiny bit. It's not nice feeling. It's not cool, dry air by any means, but it is just enough of a difference that I think our heat index will probably top out at 112 or so instead of soaring even higher. We will see, though, as we head into the rest of the week, whether that changes a bit. We do have this next wave that we're watching, but we're not expecting a threat from this in our area at this point. It's just made it into the Caribbean Sea. It has a low chance of developing, and the models aren't doing a good job with it, predictably this far out as it has not developed or even gotten close to organizing. But here's what we're thinking. This huge high, this dome of high pressure that's keeping us so hot this week, sending that sinking kind of air feeling, making it hard for any showers and storms to form. That's still going to be here a week from now. So anything out there in the Caribbean near Yucatan will probably be forced to stay pretty far south. So that's why we're not thinking that we have any tropical threats at this point and not looking for that on the horizon for the next week plus. So temperatures right now 97 that dew point again, not as high as it could be. We'll say it's 75. Our temperatures all around the area, upper 90s, some of you a bit lower because of a little bit of spotty rain we had today. But there are those heat indices again, could be up to about 115 plus, but it's a little bit more reasonable today thanks to that very slightly lower, not really noticeably lower, perhaps humidity. And our live radar showing a couple of showers and storms near the coast. Also right now close to Hammond, a little shower here. And that's about all that we have. So heading into this evening, temperatures come down into the 80s. North Shore and South Shore lows expected in the 80 degree range. So that's another thing. We're not cooling down that much at night. South of the lake, I think we'll get stuck in the lower 80s pretty much overnight every night this week. And then tomorrow I have us at 99, maybe touching 100 in spots. And then at the Kenner Airport, I do have us at the triple digit mark, maybe even a degree or two higher Wednesday and Thursday with almost zero rain chance. And then into the weekend, pretty similar, slight chance for a few showers or storms and temperatures likely still middle to upper 90s.